man, we're just rolling through these episodes. All right, I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible, as quick as possible. All right, let's roll through. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. That was thunder. Nice. All right, everybody. So today we're going to talk about captivating your audience. And what I mean by that is you want to be able to put out content that is focused driven and actually means something um, to you rather than just putting out whatever you feel like uh, randomly and not having it have any grounds or basis behind like really what your platform is supposed to be about or what you're really after and saying what it is that you're you know doing Uh, we're talking about how to have a way to interact with your audience Um, because again, like how I was mentioning in the other podcast, you want to be able to bring people into your space, but you also want to be able to let them feel like they're a part of your space. Uh, they don't want to come in to a room where everything is so closed off that they feel uncomfortable. Um, that goes like, if you're trying to push some type of ideology, if you're trying to push some some weird mindset stuff i mean some people are into it but if you're trying to be a successful capitalist in america people typically don't look too fondly on stuff like that you know you can keep your your thoughts to your groups but honestly if you're looking to hit a broad market unless you're in hollywood i mean it's not really going to fly that well by yourself so stay focused okay so today really and just jumping into the topic in general uh without too much delay i just really wanted to mention the fact that when i'm putting out my content you'll hear me make references and stuff that you may or may not agree with and that's okay you may hear me make references to things and that's okay if you don't like it um but if you look past you know the differences in our beliefs And you look at the central focus of the content that I put out, you'll see that the majority of the things that I do for my platform are centered around telling straight up narratives and random stories here and there. Um, I don't know. So many people get triggered by things these days. And that's like... It's a fault of our society, really, you know, and just pampering people to not be as accepting for all forms of um, all forms of input into an argument. I think that a lot of the people um, who really would like what it is that, say, you or I would put out will have a hard time sitting in the room and having the, the discussion Because if, let's say, you know, for me being a Christian, it's a little hard for people to get over that, you know, like, I don't know. It's very, it's a very toxic market for people who actually have faith and believe in things that are not as mainstream or popular compared to, say, you know, whatever other trending ideology is up in everybody's face at the moment and i mean for for whatever reason people tend to want to be um aggro on people like that or people who share opinions that go against their own and to be honest that does not make well for a thriving society where people have proper input and can and can critique each other um i feel you know, to where you can actually grow, not just as a artist or a um, member of a team of any sort, but as a person, it does not allow for you to have, or the society I feel now does not allow for people who have backings in religion or backings and something that goes against the cultural norm of the time any real freedom to you know object or to put forth a 
counter argument against a particular way of living uh, that's viewed as hate speech and oppression and that's fine if people feel that way because again this is a you know free nation and you can have your opinions but when it starts to affect the quality of your work that's when real problems set in for not only you not only your platform but for the other platforms when we have to be so careful with our wording and with our stories or our art we stifle the creativity of everyone if you can only draw a cat because someone does not like uh, dogs well then work is going to have to all focus around drawing cats gross with that said though we should have a mind for the interactions that we have with our fan bases particularly when we do object to some of the lifestyle or we go against some of the lifestyle choices that members of groups would not particularly like you to represent or they feel that you be attacking them or whatever however that really shakes out uh, but keeping a calm cool collected mind and knowing that whatever is out here that is aimed at taking down your belief system should not affect what content you put out in any in any sense of the word or any sense of the imagination uh, you should be able to create how you create and your own personal views of society the world around you and the people you deal with should stay with you and not be a sen in a sense it should not be aimed your work should not be aimed at attacking someone is what I'm trying to get at if you're trying to be intentionally harmful to people that could be seen as a problem like if you're threatening someone or if you're you know advocating that violence be done unto someone that's a problem if you're just in a disagreement that's not a cause for you to completely like call for the cops to come arrest this person or or bash a person or cancel a person whatever the kids do these days you know I see a lot of that online these days with just people being mean and hateful for no reason on either political or social economical side of the spectrum that they love putting people in and I don't agree with that I don't agree that we have to be a society where there's only one way that you accept a person living in your society and if they go against that way well then that's just it we need to get rid of this person somehow form fashion make their life miserable that's just wrong and people who think otherwise well they don't need to make decisions let's just put it like that so we're talking about captivating an audience but really what we need to focus on is not over promising and under delivering we need to remember that the whole reason why we're doing what we are doing is so that we can entertain the masses or at least in this particular sense we can do something for society you know we as creators are aiming at being entertaining for people who would like to come and look at something and say oh this is cool I'm gonna leave a like I'm gonna subscribe I'm gonna donate to your cause or your your platform and that should be they that should be it that should be why you do what you do and when you do that and again going with consistency and going with proper effort into making that making sure that your content is aligned with whatever it is that you're putting out and not just random you know stuff you know that's when people feel more comfortable with tuning into you because they already know what they're going to get 
you're not telling them one thing and then not doing it the next day because oh this problem popped up oh my life and I think that's really a good uh, a good way for you to get into your head like hey maybe I should focus on developing myself if you know with you putting yourself out there as a content creator developing yourself as a particular brand I mean you know and spending time with yourself and asking yourself really what it is that you're you know what you're really aiming at and how that's going to really affect the people who are watching your stuff I think that if you really focus on building yourself up in that sense to where people are looking at you uh, constantly and you have you know your platform and you really believe in this platform and you and everything that you're doing you don't you won't have any problems with generating content that holds an audience as you continue to go on people who align closer to what you believe in and what you stand for will just can you know effortlessly flow to you but again it just comes down to being there to accept the rain pouring down on you I guess that's a good way to put that I don't know share your success with the crowd don't but don't beg for attention and money it's it's exciting when you see numbers growing when you see a you know a large viewer spike and you're like oh my gosh you know, people are checking me out I think that some people feel like that's a good time to start plugging in like you know patreon pages and stuff like that and to an extent yeah that's true it would be good for people to pay you for what you do um but there's in all things have subtlety you know don't just throw yourself out there like you're willing to you know i was going to make a really gross analogy no uh don't just throw yourself out there like here take me take me now uh, I'll do anything for a dollar you know, man people do people kill me with that don't do that don't be the person who gives yourself away so easily you know or rather don't be the person who begs for attention and likes and all of that stuff because you know that's not something that gets you the proper audience you want I mean you can ask for people to comment on your stuff and you know really gauge the room if it's one of those types of things what you're doing really get into your audience's headspace but you know to ask people for some for a reward when you don't really deliver on what you promise is really just not good business that's not like good life practice at all so i really feel like practicing on being there in the in what you say you're going to do and doing what you say you're going to do showing up for your audience and delivering to your audience what you really feel is important and what really needs to get out is the most important thing that you can do because it shows people that you're really serious about what you're talking about and that you really want to give them what you feel you can manage to give them you know that's just the big takeaway there i believe in conclusion, captivating an audience is not a hard thing and it's definitely something that is organic because as you continue to grow as a content creator, you're going to notice that the things that you're doing will change, like who you are, how you operate, what your plans are, you know, the scale at what you're at what you're doing is going to get bigger and you're going to see that as you continue to grow the people who are around you are going to begin to phase in and out you're going to have you know people who are so excited for you today and they'll hate your guts next week but that's the reason why it's important to have a true backing it's the reason why it's important to have a foundation to stand on and for many believers such as myself that is one of the main things that allows us to continue on even though troubles of life continue to throw their you know there's rocks at us you know you get stoned pretty heavily by life and the end result is that you you know you're gone at the end of it all 
but it's what you do now that matters you know it's like you can you can blame society you can blame people you can blame the sun for coming down too hot and say that global warming is real or whatever you want you can do whatever you want but if you would rather let all of that not matter and instead take responsibility for yourself and your own actions and learn something about the world that you exist in and get a backing in some sense of a reason why you should continue to go on that will help you to generate authentic and realistic content that you can be proud of it'll allow you to be in a group not even just as a creator like just as a person being in a group of people it makes you feel it makes the people around you feel more confident and comfortable being around you so that you can actually be a part of the big discussions you can help lead the team you can be the guy people come to when things aren't really working out so well and isn't that really what's important you know just being there and and being a part of of something like what we have right now being alive you know enjoying who we are and where we are in this moment because there's going to come a time when that's not going to be the case and what you do from here until that's what happens you know that's what really matters so heavy heavy topic but it helps with this whole top this whole weekly how we make money there's meaning behind it and it's not just money it's what you want to accomplish it's what you view as a successful endeavor it doesn't money does not define your success what defines your success is how you feel at the end of the day when you've completed the task that was laid out before you well <laughs> i guess that's enough for today i'll catch you guys next time hey guys thank you very much for listening to the podcast um if you wouldn't mind i would appreciate it if you left a comment a like and even think about subscribing i will be putting up content like this and other forms of content daily and weekly as far as the short stories and stuff goes so stick around and i'm sure you'll have a good time thank you